Hi right, everybody. So today's video is going to be about us uh, extending our little rabbit area. It's not going to be a super long video. I just figured we'd start putting videos out that cover more and more of what we actually do every day. Um, this is this is something that that we deal with on a daily basis, but we don't really put no videos about it. So. What we're going to be doing is we got all these rabbits in these cages right here. This one right here is pregnant and due to have babies in the next couple of days. So we got a bigger cage right here that we're going to hang right here and uh, be able to put her over there with the nesting box and have plenty of room and all that. And then we'll be able to actually separate these out more as you can see. I did a little short video on these and I brought them home, it was four of them, and they've gotten so big now that we had separated them up into two cages, but they're really too big for that. They need their own cage, so we're gonna be able to move her into a bigger pen to have her babies, and then we have another little cage that we're gonna suspend over here also. That is, we're gonna move our breeder buck into that way, um, we can put these four does in these four pens, then we'll have a birthing pen, and then we'll have the buck in his own pen. So we uh we're gonna get to it and get this uh get this cage put in and we'll video it as we go along and uh show y'all us moving the rabbits also. So I'm gonna attempt to set y'all up right here somewhere where y'all can see what's going on. Maybe without everything I'm trying to knock the camera over. I think that'll be good right there. So what we're gonna be doing is you see up here these cross member beams right up there. We're gonna be suspending it from that and letting it lay back up against where we got these boards in this uh boards in this pants, and then we're gonna wire the back of it to that, that way it'll hold steady. We hope so. I'm, I'm gonna need that white uh, thing to put the ladders way over here. I'll use it. So, you can hang the water off the front. I think. Food deals on the side. You may hang that water off this side and just get it at the edge of it right here. Let it loosen up, bring the water both of them right there. So, let's undo a bunch of this wire. All we're doing is hanging it from that top with some baling wire. We use baling wire on just about every project we do around here. So, get this out long enough. Y'all did bring another new roll. Oh, it's in the shop there. Okay. I get up here without falling. Oh, you say about right. Edge of it about right here. I think we spit out. Oh, that roof is hot. Jesus. I think if uh, you're hanging it off the edge, we might could go over another one. Right, right here? Yeah. I think. I think we could. Yeah, it looks good. Can y'all set that kind of right here so I can see kind of where the end falls? That way I know where to put that other piece of uh, wire at. Uh, all right, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in that one right there. All right, while I'm doing this, you see how that end right there is kind of messed up right here? You think y'all can kind of? Put 
in the background. Right? Leave it to the back. Behind you in the lane. No, not for this, not for this little project. You know where the uh, plants are on the cooking wall on there? Uh, I think they're over there on the top floor. Right. I ain't real sure. I think on that, like, on that shelf where all my barbecue and uh, kid is, I think they're underneath that. Alright. Let's play around here. Alright, so we got this cage used from somebody, and it's got a couple of uh jacked up places on there so we're gonna we're gonna try to address these few places right here. The we'll kind of re crimp them on there to get it back. I need to put one right here too. Somehow or another. It's kinda I don't know what happened right here. Like this it's definitely a homemade cage. I can't get this bottom to come down far enough for some reason. I think it's Now, well, I'd like it at the very bottom, but I'm not wanting to uh, work too good. That'll be good, I think. I think maybe one at this corner right here. We'll kind of flip it around and uh, inspect the rest of it and kind of see. Okay. Yeah, because look at this whole side, this whole side right here. Oh, that kind of tied on in this whole knot. Lord knows how, how old them zip ties are. y'all whispering about? I don't know what he's doing. He's all up in my face. Cause you whispering something. You whispering it? I didn't hear it. I got close. Uh-oh. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, one right here. He was whispering something about your little tongue out method. Probably. Nah. This one's alright. I thought I'd talk his face. Oh, I should have looked at this when we started video. I don't want to call it uh, preparing the huge okay. This is just part of it. We wanted to uh, kind of start sharing more of. Oh, everything that goes on. This is just part of <clears throat> part of everything that goes on. Is I mean, when you get something for free, you know, and you got to do a little bit of extra to it. That's just how it is sometimes. But it was free, so let me double check this side. Yeah, that's the thing we put on there too well, so we'll put some on there.
get a little better. We got 40. Oh, I'm also on this front. So that's gonna be it for that part. So, as y'all can see, all we did was we put these new little clips on there everywhere where it was kind of coming apart at. I said this wasn't gonna be a super long video, but that part took a little bit longer than anticipated. So now let's uh let's get this dude hung. I already got the wires hanging out here, so. All right, if y'all pick it up, we're gonna get it. Level with the top of these. That way they're all hanging up. Right. Hot. Yeah. I mean, the top of this cage is kind of bowed, so. Well, uh, I need to go back a little bit. I'm gonna leave 
that long because that way I can tuck it in like that and I ain't gotta worry about her getting into it and cutting herself. I'm gonna let do the same thing right here. I ain't paid to be catching my shorts. Guys, uh, let's go around. This one right here. You want to come through here? Or no, yeah, that's it. Come through here. This row right here. There you go. Now this is going to be a little bit more wobbly because it's up on that fence that ain't on that big metal pipe like that other one. But when we build that new area, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make sure that we have, uh, a forward that runs across at that height. Because I like this height. Yeah. We'll make sure we have a forward that runs across there. That we can mount that bottom to. And it'll be good solid cages all the way around. Huh? Uh, I tell you what, we'll, we'll just pull it out and throw it in there and kind of pull some of her old fur out of there. Because we won't know when she's pulling fur if we leave that in there. Okay, so we're going to need another one of them waters. And, uh,. I don't want to make you see it. I see it. I see it. So, all right, well, so we have hung this little cage right here. We're fitting to uh, put a water in uh, somewhere. We may, uh, I think we're going to end up hanging it off this, this side right here. And, uh, there's, of course, there's a feeder in there already. And, uh, no, we're going to put that water right here. That way our food and water is at the same spot. And then we'll uh, put that nesting box down here. That way we have access to it whenever we want right here. So we, uh, we're about to get that put in. Zanna's bringing some feed right now. We're going to put the feed in there. Zach went to get a water off our old rabbit system. Um that was out there and then i don't know that we got enough room we hear you quail i don't know that we have enough room to hang this other little cage i'm gonna go grab it and see Touching that one. Oh yeah. Yeah, we can hang that one. Hmm. Okay. So we can hang that one out there if we got enough room. I think well, I think about 
water. This door doesn't exist away. Side, uh, opposite side of where we need it. Uh -huh. Set on the opposite side of where we need it. Oh, this one? I'm going to fly much, but I'm already awake, sir. I'm not like you yet. easiest way to move a rabbit. I know it may seem a little cruel, but is to grab them by the nap of their fur on their back. And as you can see, they get pretty kind of lethargic almost when you do that. If I got to move that box to put the other door down. I don't think you can. Oh, that'd be alright. <laughs> so, she's got her nice new little area she'll sniff it out and figure it out and eat leaves or whatever you know and uh she'll figure out the whole nesting box situation and she'll she should start nesting up in the next a little while i figure she may do it today um she hasn't started pulling fur yet but she has uh she's pretty close to do i think in the next couple of days day or two something like that so we'll see how she acts um may have babies tomorrow so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang this other little cage we got right here we're gonna suspend it right here and we're gonna move our our male down and then separate out all these all these uh young does which they'll be ready to breed in i think two more months they should be ready so we'll be breeding all those here in a couple of months and then we'll have a bunch of baby rabbits running around here so um 
I'm not going to film this other one. This video is already getting kind of long. And I said it wasn't going to be a long video. But, uh, so we are going to go ahead and get this other one hung and call it a wrap for this video. We, uh, we appreciate all the support that we've gotten on the channel. We still hanging right around 1100 subscribers to the channel. We have, uh, we've also started us a Facebook page. Uh, not the profile. I, I had a profile on Facebook and I'm going to shut it down, but I started an actual page where we're going to be, we started uploading videos to it. And, uh, so if you would like, if you're not big on YouTube or whatever, you can go over to Facebook and follow us also on our Facebook channel. And if you're watching this on Facebook, if you would like to go over to our YouTube and subscribe. So we're going to start trying to upload on both platforms and kind of see how this thing goes. So we appreciate all the support and keep it coming and we'll see you on the next one.